and welcome to Chilly Bee Gaming. I'm Evie and today we're back with some more Starfield. Now last time we continued our exploration of Station RE939 and we killed all the zealots and took the remaining loot. Uh, and then on our way back to New Atlantis we stopped at the den to sell off some stuff. But Distraction Avenue called and I unfortunately answered it when we came across a Deimos armoured transport that had a Crimson Fleet ship nearby or two. I destroyed one, but this one's just kind of floating. We got on board anyway, killed off the rest of the Crimson Fleet and um, looted the place dry. And that's about it. So let's head back to New Atlantis, I believe. Oh, New Atlantis. And we need to speak to, oh God, there we go. Speak to Ve Victus. Let's Let's find out once and for all what on earth is going on, because... <sighs> Did he do it? Was it him? Is he responsible for this? So many people, all in one place. I still cannot feel entirely comfortable. Oh, will you be all right, Andre? We're, we're okay, dear. We're all right. All right, let's go and um, see Mr. Victus and find out just what the hell is going on. What on earth? At least they've tidied everything up, look. It's all fixed. As you enter the city. Oh, scan Please away. Yeah, all nice and tidy. And they got rid of that guard's body at long last. Okay. That's a bonus. No clear. Oh, thank you. Thank God for that, eh? We could really do with um, having some food. Or should I just top myself up with a med pack? Maybe we'll just do that. Med pack. <laughs> enjoy these moments really coming off the gnat all right sorry if um i might sound a little bit different i don't know i've got a bit of a sore throat at the moment it's very very annoying hurts to swallow which oh sorry oh there we go yeah i don't know why seems to only be on one side, so maybe it's one of my tonsils, I don't know. Because I've still got my tonsils, believe it or not. I never had them taken out, like many people have done. I've just realised we could have gone up through the... Oh no, we couldn't. We couldn't, never mind. Alright. Um, what's he going to have to say for himself, do you suppose? He's either going to have done it, or know who does it, or know how they got the information, I reckon. Those are my thoughts, anyway. Oh, staple gun. Can we can we get in any of these yet? No. Oh, we could right. No, 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 Eve. No, not allowed. Authorized personnel only. Your friend has to stay here. That's all right. Andre, you chill. She will. I promise. Can I go, please? Make her a coffee at least, dude. She likes coffee. I hope. <laughs> okay, let's see what he has to say for himself. Hmm. I well. All right, dude. Let's um. Let's hear it. Well, what a pleasant surprise. Really. When I heard you and Hadrian were headed for Londinian of all places, I presumed you must be on to something big. Mm. Did you find what you were looking for? <sighs> yeah, I don't know. Is there anything you want to tell me about your time in Londinian? I haven't been to Londinian in many years. Why? Mm. Is there some way I could be of assistance? Were you able to recover what you were looking for? <sighs> yeah. Oh, we did. And a whole lot more. Good news, then. So, what exactly are you doing here? Plenty still to be done in defeating the Terramorphs, no? Yeah, let's be honest. We found a recording of you discussing the use of Terramorphs as a weapon. Did you? Mm-hmm. Well, I don't know what you think you heard on this recording, but I sincerely 
sincerely hope you didn't come to the wrong conclusions. After all, given the cabinet's current state of anxiety, they might misinterpret such a discovery to mean I could have been involved with the attacks. Perhaps I can convince you to keep this among us. Convince me. Hmm. Yeah, let's try this. You want to hear the words then? I did it. <gasps> the terror morph attacks on Tau City. New Atlantis. My doing. Years of coordination between my associate and I. Figuring out how to deploy the Lazarus plant's pollen outside of Londinian. Learning to synthesize it. Use it as a weapon. Now, being as clever as you are, I'm sure you have thoughts on why I might do such a thing. <sighs> mm, don't look smug, dude. Yeah, maybe you should ask who have you been working with? Or should we... You're angry about what the UC did to you. It's petty revenge and nothing more. Yeah, who are you working with, actually? All in due time. First, I want to see if you're truly as astute as you appear. So why would someone like me go through all this trouble? It's obvious. You're angry about what the UC did to you. It's petty revenge and nothing more. Yeah. Correction. When I discovered the plant, I did consider handing over what I'd found, but we were at war. And I couldn't risk information that dangerous falling into the wrong hands. So I ordered the bombing of the Londinian spaceport, fixing two problems at once. Halting the spread of the city's terramorph outbreak, and sealing away knowledge of the plant's potential. Hmm. Oh, I don't know. I think they'd have had to have bombed Londinian anyway because there were so many terramorphs, but... I don't know. I don't think the UC, the UC should have had the information either. Maybe... Yeah, you didn't even trust your own people in the UC. These were the final days of the colony war, Captain. The Freestar Collective had spies everywhere. Mm. I was concerned that if word got out, the Collective could swoop down, start breeding Lazarus plants, and overrun our worlds with waves of terramorphs. Just like what was happening on Londinian at that very moment. Sealing off the city to prevent mass death, it was the only option that made sense at the time. I don't think it should have been handed over. I don't think it should have been used at all. Hmm. I don't know, you know. I th mm. Like I say, I think they would have had to have bombed Londinian anyway because of the amount of Terramors, but... The information should never have been used. It should, never should have happened like this right now. So, I... Yeah, maybe... Yeah, kills Simple nothing. to say now. But with the outbreak raging from a barely understood source, the moment demanded quick action. So I did what was required. I removed the dangerous variable from an already catastrophic war. Yeah, but use but it then, for yourself. the war ended... My trial, my execution, I made a decision. After all, I'd given everything for the colonies. My life as I knew it included. And what did I get in return? Was there any effort by the UC to protect my legacy? My daughter's legacy? No. We were sacrificed when all we did was serve. 
So I kept what I'd learned and arranged the attacks to set things right again. My daughter. She becomes a hero. I become a trusted advisor, having found Kaiser, the research team, and cement my new position of influence when I hand them the name of the person responsible for the attack on New Atlantis. The dear departed Dr. Reginald Orlais, the associate who aided me all these years, and whom I always slated to take the fall. What luck he was stopped dead before he could hurt anyone else. His decades on the run brought to an end by another unlikely hero. You. But, I mean, that's just... Ugh. That's just selfish. Just to boost your own ego and your own, oh, put some honour to my name. Kill loads of people for the sake of that. Get out of here. Good God. Hmm. Yeah. Basically, yeah. You murdered UC citizens because of some slight against your honour. Jeez Louise, man. There are no heroes without a villain. I simply arranged the opportunity for us to overcome one and become the other. And we all benefited. It's why died, didn't I it? had our lays reprogrammed Kaiser. Had that old machine guide you to where I found the plant all those years ago. I went to great lengths to ensure your and Hadrian's success. And look at the results. I know for a fact the Cabinet's planning to honor both you and Hadrian once this is all done. Isn't that preferable to languishing away in obscurity? Running jobs on the tail end of nowhere for the Vanguard? With only the vague hopes of perhaps earning the right to buy a home in the well someday. No. It, ugh, honestly, what a what an absolutely ridiculous way of thinking. Kill a load of people just so you get some honour, so that you can buy a house or whatever. Get out of here, mate. You're a moron. Hmm. Yeah, exactly. They'd be honouring me for cleaning up your messes. If you're waiting for me to say thank you, we're going to be here for a while. Yeah. I don't think he's going to be here for a while, though. I think I'm going to get to shoot him in the face, which would be quite nice. Um, yeah. I'm simply looking for you to acknowledge the truth. And let's not forget the importance of our actual endgame. Eliminating the terramorphs, Securing knowledge of the Lazarus plant. What we've set in motion is going to protect thousands, maybe millions of lives. I'm simply requesting one more life be protected. Mine. I've already sent along the evidence of Orlaise's role in the attacks to the cabinet, leaving out my own involvement. All I ask is that you confirm as much to the cabinet. Tell them that it was Orlaise and Orlaise alone. After all, I do still have a long list of threats to the UC. This needn't be the end of our good works together. Is that saying I'm going to use these things? <sighs> yeah, you think I'm just going to forget the fact that you killed people to accomplish your good ends. And how many have you killed to get where you are now? There are no great works that don't cost lives, Captain. Whether it's winning a war or digging a tram tunnel. So we sacrificed a few dozen in the attacks to possibly protect millions. That seems like a fair exchange to me. I only hope you'll see the same and leave my name out of the discussions to come. Do you know what? Yeah, fine. I I'm not sure what I'm going to tell the cabinet. I think I'm just going to tell them it was him. Because this is ridiculous. perspective in mind, Captain. We've done something great here. Let's not squander the opportunity to do more. <sighs> G. 
you know, I wish I could, I know I could probably just open this door and shoot him in the face. This is honestly, ugh. Oh, I feel so manipulated. Good grief. Right. Let's go. Authorized personnel only. Your friend has to stay here. That's fine. Just be aware. You won't have this job much longer because I'm going to go and blow his head off. Right. Andreja, let's, let's, let's go. We need to go and speak to Hadrian and Percival. I think it's time to tell them what's going on. You know. Tell them about him and just see what gets said. Okay. See what they think. What? Are they around this way? What? Oh, they're in here. Okay. Um, wasn't there a PC in here that we couldn't get into? Yes. What? Oh, requires a bloody key. Right, well, whatever. Andreja, can you come in, please? Andreja? There you go. Right. Shut this door. Alright. Perfect timing. We just got in. Hmm. So on our end, good news. The microbe and the Aceles are both as effective against heat leeches as they are against terramorphs. Good. Means either plan should work for clearing those critters off our worlds. Considering what the Lazarus plant is capable of, I don't think we can deal with those things fast enough. Hmm. I already sent along info to the cabinet to get them up to speed. Okay. So what about your end? Did you find anything? Any leads on who might have committed the attacks? Yeah, let's do it. It was Vey Victus. I managed to get him to confess. That seems unlikely, considering he's been dust for about 20 years. He's not. I'm sure the captain just misspoke. No, she right? didn't. No, he's alive. The UC's had him this whole time. He's orchestrated the attacks from his cell. No, no, that's impossible. He's gone. No. My father is dead. No. Nope. I swear I'm not lying to you, he's alive and he's responsible for the attacks. Yeah. The colony war butcher lives, unfortunately. That's about the understatement of the century. A couple of choice full letter words came to mind for me. Mm -hmm. Alive. Fay Victus is alive? How... How did you find him? Hmm. Yeah. He actually contacted me. He's the reason we found Kaiser. Wait. You knew he was alive and didn't tell us? I couldn't, yeah. I was sworn to secret here, but this felt too important. It did. You were sworn to... You... You swore you were just doing your duty, weren't you? Yeah, I guess I, of all people, should know what a burden that can be. Doesn't mean I'm not mad, but I guess you letting us know late is preferable to never. Mm -hmm. Now at least we can inform the cabinet and let them deal with him. <sighs> you know? Yeah, what do you think they'll do? I think they'll kill him. Or they'll I get me to do it. I honestly don't know. If it were me, I'd make damn sure he never spoke to another human being again. But I may be a bit less than impartial. Mm -hmm. But for the wanton murder of civilians, I doubt anything's off the table. True. It's true. It's true, it is. Exactly. The people he harmed deserve justice. But now, now I guess we've got our answer. Nothing left to do but put it all in front of the cabinet. Yep. Any last things we needed to discuss? This might be our last opportunity to talk things through before the cabinet weighs in on a decision regarding the Terramorphs. Hmm.
Hmm. Yeah, what method of dealing with the terramorphs are you two leading towards? Microbe is going to make the cleanup a whole lot quicker. If we're concerned about this Lazarus plant getting deployed again, that's the way to go. Which we're not. The cabinet can secure the Lazarus plant, and then we're not risking any surprises when it comes to dealing with a microbe. Hmm. You're being paranoid. You know the science. You know we can make this safe. I do know the science. I also know math. And a one in a million chance of a mutation isn't zero. True. So I guess we're still in discussion. Probably best at this point to let the cabinet weigh in. See if they have a preference. <sighs> so both approaches of clearing the world are effective against heat leeches. Yeah. They are. Microbe needed minimal adjustment to account for heat leech anatomy. And the Asilis seem like they're even better at tracking leeches than morphs. Oh. Hell of a sight to watch, though, when they catch them. Like an open airlock guzzling angry spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> what are the risks, yeah, if we decide to bring back the Asilis? Asilis aren't hostile to humans, but they are mega fauna. If someone decides to pick a fight with one, it could get ugly. Well, that's the same thing. But they've already more, been spread far and wide once before when the UC was raising them as livestock, so the risk of introducing them to new worlds is minimal. But not zero. Using them to clean up the terramorphs and leeches, though, it's not going to be nearly as expedient as the microbe would be. Given what we know now about the Lazarus plant, the speed of the job does matter. But going with the Asilis, we're at least dealing with known risks. Yeah, that's 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 my thinking. That's my thinking. Right, let's and go in. Here we go. Better to deal with it in like a, a natural way rather than a, a way that's been created in a science lab, I think. In in the sense of the microbe, you know. Come on, Andreja. We're, we're, all right. Let's get in there. Okay, well, here I am. Welcome back, all of you. I wish we were meeting under better circumstances. Same. But according to Hadrian's report, and the second one I just received, it seems the Terramorph attack on New Atlantis was no random occurrence, but a planned strike. Yep. Is what I'm reading here true? Yes. That's correct, ma'am. It was a ter it was a deliberate attack. Yes, but don't worry, I found the culprit. Hmm. Is that second report who I think it's from? This report comes from a particularly confidential source. Both you and I are familiar with. Yes. Among the reasons its findings are so alarming. Hmm. Now, is it true? Was the attack on New Atlantis planned? Yes, but don't you worry, we found the culprit. The second report claims to know the perpetrator as well. Did Reginald Orlais actually commit these attacks, Captain? Orlais? That report isn't the whole truth. Orlais helped, but they victus organized the attacks. Yes. It's true, ma'am. I heard the recording myself. My father figured out how to use terramorphs as weapons. Mm -hmm. He did what? That's impossible. He doesn't have the kind of access to... Clearly, he made his own access, Chief Sarkin. Mm -hmm. Madam President, I have been saying for years that not dealing with that man was going to end in tragedy. Enough! I hope everyone here understands that what has just been shared is a state secret of the highest order. This information does not leave this room. Fine. Now, that's quite the accusation you're leveling considering Francois Sanon has not left containment for the better part of two decades. You have evidence to back this up? Yeah. It just transformed a terramorph out of thin air. An invisible weapon. No planet would be safe. Heavens help us. I is that actually him? Yep. I'd know that voice anywhere. That's Francois. He knew they could do this. And said nothing. Exactly. He's a sociopath. Plain and simple, ma'am. Officer, please collect that recording. Yes, ma'am. Begging your pardon, Captain. 
will, yeah. of course, be launching a full investigation into how this could have happened. Though I have little doubt the Admiral will be quick to share all he knows on the subject once confronted with that recording. Chief Yassine, can you send one of your interrogators to have a little chat with the Admiral? I'll issue the order immediately. Good. Combined with everything else you all have uncovered. Well, I don't think the United Colonies can thank you enough. We failed the people of the Colonies by not dealing with Vavicta sooner. I intend to rectify that mistake immediately. Oh, please let me rectify it. Hmm. Yeah, what's going to happen to him? That will be up to the cabinet to decide. All right. But I don't appreciate our mercy being taken advantage of. No, well, it's, it's you know... Yeah, it's... Whatever y'all decide. It's well past due. Okay. Now, with our villain unmasked, we can attend to the other matters at hand. What's that? With the threads you've brought together here. The Lazarus plant, the attacks, the heat leeches. Mm -hmm. The three of you have likely spared thousands of lives. But it now falls to the cabinet to ensure this can never happen again. As such, the cabinet will be securing the Lazarus plant on Londinian. All materials related to the plant will be classified to ensure no one else learns its true nature. A sound decision, Madam President. Hmm. Yeah. Securing the plant isn't enough. It should be wiped out. We're already discussing the elimination of one species, Captain. Explain to me why you wish to eliminate another. Um, hmm. Hard for anyone to commit new attacks with the plant if we erase any trace of it. Exactly. To be truly sure this cannot happen again, this is the only sensible course of action. Eliminate all possibility. Thank you, Andreja. And once Ve Victus has been dealt with, this problem can end here. Exactly. And allow us to focus on the grander task to come. Very well. We'll clean up the plant. Good. Thank you for the suggestion, Captain. There you are. So then, to our final topic. The Cabinet has agreed to implement a plan that will deal with the Terramorph, and now also heat leech presence on human worlds. Mm -hmm. In fact, we've already begun enacting measures to check all UC ports and settlements for undiscovered nests. But we all understand this is only a partial solution. Mm -hmm. The project we're embarking on will be a long and difficult one. So our first step must be deciding how exactly this all will be handled. Madam President, this microbe is clearly too much of a risk. The Asili's are the safer approach. Yep. To someone with limited knowledge of biology, perhaps. The technology behind the microbe is solved science, Madam President. It isn't dangerous. Using it to wipe out the Terramorphs would be the quickest path to protecting humanity. And fast results always lead to the best outcomes, they don't are. they? As you can see, there remains debate among the Cabinet. Mm hmm we were hoping your group might issue a recommendation. Certainly will. Major. We've been having similar debates ourselves. But the captain has yet to weigh in. I've already weighed in. Captain, I know this may not be your area of expertise, but we'd like to know your take on the matter. Well. Hmm. Deploying the Achilles is the safest route. That's my vote. Yeah. I don't think you can rush this sort of thing. Because if you rush it and you release something out there, as Hadrian rightly said, you know, that it's not a 0% chance that the microbe might evolve into something else that might do us in. So, yeah. I'm in full agreement. All right. No need be delving into unpredictable sciences. Mm -hmm. The first step in a bold new future. Uh-huh. Bolder, better, and brighter. <laughs> well, I need to write that one down for later. All right, dude. Order, on. please. And Major Sanon, 
Dr. Walker, you'd find this acceptable? We trust the captain's judgment. Oh, thanks. Then the matter is settled. We'll begin the process immediately. There you go. Today marks day one for the United Colonies Terramorph Management Division, making you three the founding members of the TMD. Oh, cool. As befits such a group, the cabinet wanted to display its gratitude. Go for it, then. Today, we will be adding three new Class 1 citizens to our ranks. Oh, I feel so fancy. Class 1? For the three of us? Are you joking? What he means to say is, thank you, ma'am. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Thank you, ma'am. I mean, um... What about Andreja? Um, yeah, what's a class one citizen? What's that about? It's a status reserved only for those who've dedicated their lives to the United Colonies or done great things for its cause. I see. Class ones enjoy an ample credit disbursement, oh. an additional reduction on the cost of colonial goods. And I'm told the penthouse is rather impressive. Oh, we get a house, do we? Well, thank you very much. You all have earned it. Lovely. Now, there's much to be done. Major Sinan, Dr. Walker, I hope you two are willing to continue your efforts spearheading the TMD's research on Mars. We'd be honored, ma'am. As for you, Captain, uh -huh. the Vanguard will be providing much of the on-the-ground support for the TMD. As a member of both the Vanguard and the TMD, I believe you'll have your pick of duties. Cool. Speak to your commander. Tuala, if I recall correctly. Apparently so. He should be able to provide you with assignments going forward, plus help you collect the benefits that come with being named Class One. On behalf of the whole of the United Colonies, you have our sincerest gratitude. This meeting is adjourned. Jolly good. Well, there you have it, folks. Whoa. Okay, well. There you have it, Andreja. Visit your rented... What? We have a rented room? And what do you think, my dear? Well... Okay. Seems you're quite the investigator turning up the culprit behind the attacks like you did. Shame security doesn't way, have Captain, a protective position Sergeant open. Yumi was looking for you. Oh, Sounds gosh. like he's got more work. Everybody wants to chat. Stop chatting. Um. I do want to go and see Commander Tuala, so let's go and see him. And see uh, what the perks are of this position. Hello, sir. Well, well, I've got to say, this is a first. I've never had a class one citizen in my ranks before. Congratulations, Captain. Oh, well, thank you so much. Um. Okay, yeah, thank you. It's no need to thank me. You brought this all on yourself. I've already gone ahead and processed your Class 1 benefits. Ooh. All UC goods and services should now have a thanks for protecting the colonies discount. Lovely. And the credits should be in your accounts now. But to get into your penthouse, you'll have to pay a visit to the Affilion Realty Office. They should be able to grant you access. Ooh! 12,000 credits as well. Um. Yeah, thanks. Higher-ups wanted to make sure you know how much they appreciate what you've done. But, with all that squared, it's time to get you a new assignment. All right. There are your standard Vanguard missions, putting those pilot skills to use defending UC space. Mm hmm Or you could help the TMD in cleaning up Terramorphs. Oh, and I got a request from Dr. Walker. Wanted your help collecting biological samples to keep an eye out for any, uh, new alien threats on the horizon. All right. Any of those missions call to you? Um, hmm. Yeah, let's 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 help Percival. Sure. Why not? You'll have all the specifics. If you find yourself looking for more work, you know where to find me. Good stuff. And there you have it. Andreja, we need to go and speak to the realty office because we need to go and find our our little house. Uh blast zone. Would it be in here? Talk with Sarah Morgan again? There you go. Let's go and speak to Zora. Zora! Her name is Zora. She's got herself an apartment. Well, give us the key to one. I think. And why not, eh? It's about time we had a, had a proper home of our own. 
instead of just rooms in places. All right. Hello, madame. Ooh. Aphelian, Aphelian, Aphelian Realty? Well, all right. Okay, um... It's a buyer's market right now. Good time to make a move. Look, I'm making a well, move. Well, well. If it isn't the United Colonies' newest class one citizen. I mean, you can look at me in the face. You make quite a name for there yourself you in New Atlantis. In fact, the higher-ups want to thank you for your dedicated service by giving you one of the nicest pieces of real estate in the city. It's a premium penthouse at the top of Mercury Tower. Best location in New Atlantis, in my professional opinion. All right. You say? It'll just take a second to get you registered as the owner. Yeah, let's 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 do, let's do Great. it. You're in for a real treat. It's one of my favorite apartments in the city. All right. Okay, you're all set. Oh, your new home's located in Mercury Tower in the residential district. You'll love the place. It has a gorgeous floor plan and an unbeatable view of the city. Now that you're an owner, I'm sure I'll be seeing you around town. My, 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 my. Okay, visit your new penthouse. Well, Andreja, let's go. Why not, eh? We've done a lot of um, work here. Now it's time for us to... Uh, Play a little. Well, maybe not play, but, you know. Buy a house. Or have a house. What do you reckon? I think we could have a nice little life. You know? Well, between, you know, hunting down terramorphs and all that jazz. But, are we nearing the end of the, um... The UC quest line? Hmm, maybe. Maybe this is it. Or maybe it's once we've helped Percival out. Okay, so Pioneer Tower. Where, 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 where? Do we... Oh, well, well. All right. This way. Aha! Here we go. Mercury Tower. So God, this grass is patchy. Jeez. No Are these slides? Oh, Can I go on the slide? No. Oh. Alright, let's um Woo Andreja Should meet us up there. Penthouse Oh hey So like a private lift Ooh look at this fancy Wow Is this like a a bedroom or a bathroom or something? What do you think, Andreja? I like this kitchen. This is nice. What's in here? Maybe like a pantry type job? Oh, here's the bathroom. Here we are. Can we have a shower? I'd like a shower, please. Oh, hell yes. This is nice. I like... Nice and spacious. Like a walk in. Oh, like an ensuite! Oh, hey. Look at this. Hers and hers sinks. Ha! Ah, hers and hers sinks, Andreja. Love it. What else? Maybe like an office? And a, a laundry room. I've never seen a washing machine in here before. In Starfield, I mean. Okay. So we got a house! I love it! This is cool. So, assumedly, this is the balcony? Oh, hey! Oh, my god! Look at that view, baby! Look at that view! Okay. I like it. I really, really like it. I do. Okay. So we... Oh, cod. There's another balcony, wasn't there, through here? I think. Ooh. Oh yeah, this is this is it. We've we've officially made it. Look at that. We can see the frontier from here. There she is, beautiful as always. What do you reckon, Andreja? Want to talk? Yes. You need something? No, you don't feel like talking. 
<laughs> I know that tone very well. What is it? Hmm. I don't know. Hmm. Yeah. Thank you, dearest. You are not so bad yourself. Well, jolly good. May the serpent guard you. I'm sure he or she does. Like I say, still not sure about that. So, so how do we, how do we, how do we, do we, do we, oh, there you go, decorate. Oh, hey, look at this. Can we have like a bed? We can have a bed. A single bed? Really? Really? We only get to have a single bed? Well, that's... that's Barrett's portrait... I don't want that. Storage box. Oh. Is this like all stuff that we've seen? Or things that we can just make? Or... Huh. I mean, alright. It's a little limited, but... Okay. I assume we have to have... Yeah, we have to obviously have resources to build things. But why can we only have a single bed? I'm not a single person. Well, well. Huh. Well, do you know what? Never mind. That's fine. That's fine. Come on, Andreja. We've got other work to be doing. Oh, we'll shut the doors. Keep the where the alarm is out. Where are you, Andreja? Where'd she go? Where'd she go? What? Oh, there you are. Okay. Well, we'll shut up the shop. And, um, go and do some other stuff. Come on, my dear. Oh. There we go. Just shut the door. Keep the riffraff out and let's get out. Well, there you have it. We'll have to start collecting up some things so we can, um... Build ourselves a nice little apartment. But, very nice. Mercury Tower. Hell yeah. We're here. All they want to do is play on their computers. What's this thing? All day. Like a bench? Oh, it's a bench. Okay. All right. So, shall we go and assist Percival? Percival. Or have we kind of finished the UC? I think we've finished the UC quest line. And now we're just into Misk. There you go. We've still not finished the main quest line, have we? we? We really do need to do that, but... I don't know. I wonder what Sarah wants. Should we go and speak to Sarah? Yeah. I suppose we better had. Now that we've seen our house. There's no one to play with. There's no one to play with, really. Alright, never mind. Let's go. Oh my god. I wonder what has happened. If you are free soon, could we talk? Yeah, uh, we'll just see what Sarah's after first. I'm sure it'll be, I don't know, something of, of maybe of, of, I don't know. Sarah, hello. Ron Hope was a real piece of work, wasn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Despicable is too kind a word. All right. He held innocent people with little regard, mm -hmm. treating their lives like numbers on a balance sheet. It's an absolute disgrace. Right. Um. Yeah. <sighs> I'm relieved to hear you say that. Letting him off the hook would have been a terrible injustice. Well. Yeah, you know, it's a shame that the well-being and livelihood of hundreds of Hope Tech employees are now in jeopardy, yeah. It is. While that's true, it certainly doesn't excuse the blood that he has on his hands. No, I suppose not. Um, yeah. Okay. No, it certainly isn't. Especially when it comes at the expense of human lives. 
Well, I think I've lectured you enough. Thanks for taking the time to listen to me. That was it. Have a few moments. There's something I'd like to discuss. We've just had a few moments, Sarah. Oh my God! What does she want? What Sorry is it? to pull you aside like this, but I wanted to take a moment to congratulate you. For what? Taking those steps to oh. eradicate the terramorph threat is essential to the safety of every living thing in the settled systems. You should be proud. Well, yeah. Um. Yeah, something had to be done. Yes, exactly. I'm glad you treated the situation with the urgency it deserved. I did. I only wish that the United Colonies chose to exterminate the Terramorphs with the experimental microbe instead of choosing this ridiculous Asili solution. Apparently, Sarah. their decision was based on your recommendation. <sighs> well, I meant to, that was but a risky then I choice you've made. And it led to this whole um, goose chase. The Asili no, solution only I mean, I presents to, us with it. Then it became this whole thing. An ambassador was involved. Samuel. But, uh, Shut up. Minimal risk. Are you sure? Yes. The Asili solution might take years, perhaps even decades. Meanwhile, the clock is ticking for humankind. That sounds far too risky to me. Well, Sarah Morgan, dislike it all you want. I don't care. Hmm. Yeah, do you know what? I couldn't condone the release of an unproven microbe into our ecosystem. Well, I'm disappointed that you didn't trust the science. Well, boo -hoo. Thankfully, Tell the eradication of the Lazarus plant gives the Asilis a bit more time to do their job. Well, that's the thing. You get rid of one awful thing and you bring back a, a creature that was haunted to extinction. Um. Yeah, fine, even if we don't agree... I appreciate your honesty. It's fair of enough. Of course. I wouldn't have it any other way. I appreciate the fact that you've taken the time to listen to my opinion on the matter. Yeah, I'll listen to it. I just don't agree with it, you know. And that's the thing, folks. Hi there. How's it going? You don't always have to agree with each other on everything. But you can be respectful and you can say, well, we just agree to disagree. And that's it. Okay, well... I think uh, we are going to leave it there for today, folks. I think next time we'll see what Andrej is after, if she wants to have a little chat. And maybe we'll go help Percival get these, these microbe sample thingies. See where we go from there. So, until next time, be safe, be good, and look after yourself.